Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your man, Corey. Welcome to the Digital Dash, where I'll be giving you guys tips on how to market your songs and get those numbers booming. Now, if you're new to the channel, I am a digital marketer. I specialize in helping artists like yourself get their songs heard through platforms like Spotify, like Instagram, like YouTube, and a bunch of others. Now, what I wanna get into today, guys, is a simple release strategy that you can apply to your own single releases, your video releases, your album releases, whatever. I've just realized that a lot of you guys have trouble planning out what you should do once the song is actually out as far as marketing and promoting and how you can get it out there. So I just decided to put a little something together to help you guys get started in the right direction. But before we get into all of that, come follow me on Instagram. I make sure to put my at name on the screen. Come talk to me, come engage with me, come give me some video ideas, all of that. Now, now, with that being said, let's get right into it. Now, the first thing that you'll want to do is to determine your budget. Now, your budget will pretty much set the limitations for your campaign as far as what you can do, what services you can get done, who you can hire, who you can reach out to, all of that. So the earlier that you sit down and figure out how much you're willing to allocate towards certain things, whether it be $50 or $50,000, the better you can start to plan out your release strategy, the better that you can start pushing everything out as a whole. Now the second thing that you'll want to do is to figure out what platforms are you going to work and promote and market yourself on. Are you going to work Facebook? Are you going to work YouTube? Are you going to work Instagram, Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, whatever. Sit down, figure it out, and compare it to the budget that you have to make sure that you have the resources to work all of these platforms. But the quicker you pick a platform and commit to it, the easier it'll be as far as planning out what you need to do to make sure that certain things move and go on that platform. So pick the ones that you want. I always recommend picking at least two to three if you have a bigger budget and have the time to make the stuff for it which we'll go into later then maybe you can go with more platforms like five to seven but at least pick a couple to start with in the beginning and the next thing that you'll want to do is to find promo channels and pages for each of the platforms that you decided to promote your project or your song on. For example, with Instagram, you may want to find some viral content pages or some pages that talk about music. With YouTube, you may want to find some upload channels or some YouTubers that do reaction videos. Just different channels of promotion within your niche that target your target audience that you can reach out to to promote your music. Now you'll want to sit down, build out this list of contacts, start reaching out at least a couple of days in advance to see what are their conditions and the criteria for submitting things and then adding it to the schedule, to the release schedule to see what you'll need to do as you move forward. Now the next thing that you'll want to do is to create content for each of these platforms that you've decided to work. Now you need to make sure that the content is native to that platform, meaning that it naturally fits within the design elements of that platform and everything that usually goes within it. Now this content can range from anything. It can be lyric videos, animations, music videos, skits, whatever you think of. Like I said, it just needs to fit within the natural elements of that platform. Now, often the content can come down to a numbers thing, meaning the more content that you have to push and promote, the better. You'll definitely want to have, I would say, at least maybe six to ten pieces of content to help push before it comes out, and another six to ten pieces of content to help you push once the project or the song is actually out. But like I said, the number can vary depending on you, um, your fan base, the platforms you decide to work, the resources that you have, etc, etc. Just make sure that you have content to push before and to push after. And the next thing that you'll want to do, and this is the boring part, this is the tedious part, this is the part that most artists hate doing, but it's one of the most important parts of a release plan, and that is to create a content schedule. Now, I made sure to link to a video about that in the description below. I made a video recently detailing how you can make a content schedule for yourself, but the reason that it's so important is it helps if you've planned out when you're going to drop this content, when you're going to put it out, when you're going to expose it to your fan base. It helps you kind of get into a groove, get into a routine, and you start to get your audience actually acclimated to your accounts being active based around how often you put out these pieces of content. Now your content schedule can be as detailed or as vague as what works for you. Sometimes for clients I'll have it detailed out to the very minute that they're going to go on their IG live or post the content on their Instagram feed. Or like I said, it can be as vague as just, I'm going to post this day on Twitter, I'm going to post this day on my YouTube account, I'm going to run an ad on this snippet, whatever. Just having that schedule helps, it helps to keep you on track, it helps to keep you going towards any goals that you set for yourself within the campaigns, and it helps to make sure that everything run smoothly in your release schedule. And then after that, you'll want to stick to your content schedule. You'll want to stick to that plan. So once you've done all of this pre-planning, then of course the next step is to put out that song, put out that project, put out that video. And then you'll want to stick to your content schedule. You'll want to make sure that you're reaching out to these promotional channels and these promotional pages. You want to make sure that you're putting out the content that you have and you're engaging with your fans and you're doing all of the extra necessary steps that comes once the release is actually out. Now, like I said, this is a crew release 
release plan strategy, something to help you get the ball rolling, something to help you start planning out for your next release. There are definitely additional steps that can be added in, things that could be taken out. Other things that you may want to add, such as reaching out to press or you know reaching out to certain influencers or whatever. Like I said, every release plan is different for every artist. I just wanted to give you guys a guideline, something to help you out if you've never done it before. Now, if you've ever actually sat down and taken the time to plan out a release schedule for something you had coming out, I'd love to hear about it in the comment section below. If not, take lessons from those guys that have, or I hope that this video helps you out. Now, as always, guys, if you feel like you learned anything today, please like and share this video. Hit those post notifications as well, as I wouldn't want you guys to miss anything. Once again, my name is Corey, and I'll see y'all next time.